met a gypsy. You, you follow MotoGP quite a lot. Eh? Absolutely. All right. Yeah. So what's your theory on why Ducati are entering motocross? Have you thought much about it? <clears throat> hmm. Uh, if, you to, if you had to guess. Well, I think this. Uh, I think sometimes, and athletes are the same way, when, you, when you're good at something and you're winning, you're dominating, you think you can be good at everything. <laughs> right? I mean – we all like I'm winning Supercross, and I'm like, okay, I think I'm gonna go race Indy cars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Honda will probably give me a chance. Let me go drive the car. I'm like, yeah. oh, I could be an Indy car racer. Well, then when I retired, I'm like, okay, I'm going to drive NASCARs with Dale Jr. Monster sponsors him, and 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 I did, and I went and did it. But on these little tracks back east, um, you know, you find out really quick that you're not as good as you think you are. <laughs> It's freaking hard. You know, I'm a dirt guy. And, and I was like, when I went to drive on the asphalt, I was like, car gets a little loose. You're like, yeah, oh, you'll, you'll you'll get out of the, the throttle. throttle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And these yeah. guys are like, you know, yeah. just like they just grew, grew up doing it. It's like a boxer not flinching when someone throws exactly. like a, a jab. Like it would if yeah. someone was doing that. Dust, like, we'd be like, whoa. Wait, he's a guy. Yeah. 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 These guys can see stuff because yeah. they grew up doing it, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's the same thing. It'd be like if we took any one of those guys and put them on a dirt bike, they'd be like, what? Um, so I believe that in Ducati's case, maybe they're just feeling like, well, shh, you know, we're conquering the world right now. Maybe we need to, you know, maybe they've been kicking around the idea for a while. Mm. I don't know, but it's going to be interesting that they certainly are killing it at MotoGP right now. I wonder, this is my conspiracy as a MotoGP fan. So you've got KTM coming in. They're probably the only real threat to Ducati in MotoGP. Right. So KTM over the last few years, to me, it looks like they've pulled back and I know like some shit about the business. Some inside stuff. Yeah. So yeah. it's like they've pulled back massively in right. all of these other avenues and that's all off-road motorcycles, right? Yeah. So they've been able to have such a crazy quick rise to the top of MotoGP because they've kind of pulled from everything that they're already focused, dominating on. Yeah, focused on that. So they're like, oh, well, <clears throat> to your point, we're killing it at everything else. Right. So we can start leaning this shit out. And, and then do we'll, something else. we'll put it into MotoGP and we'll catch up quick. So I wonder if this is Ducati's way of trying to get that money away from the MotoGP stuff put it back into the the dirt side of things because but i mean ducati's never had a dirt have they ever had a dirt well, anything done. built purposely for dirt i'm not, not sure they have well they've done the they've they done had like, like an adventure style yeah like, adventure right? stuff yeah basically yeah. and like i don't know maybe some of the scramblers yeah. or whatever but yeah that seems so crazy to me that in two years we'll have triumph and ducati like two in dirt bikes huge companies yeah. racing supercross it, it is Carole. strange when you think of those names you only think street yeah right and has caroli did you see the thing about caroli going to ducati no so yeah that's their team manager so i don't know whether i just saw it on the on instagram but i know italianos love yeah 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 other italianos yeah 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 right, <laughs> so like right. that whole to even to take caroli away from ktm it just to me the optics of that scream like ducati trying to fuck with KTM, this goes basically. back to our conversation 10 minutes ago wouldn't you think Cairoli would ride off in the sunset as a ktm ambassador for life right but yeah. here we are yeah, he's, yeah, he's, yeah. Amb he's an ambassador for them and the the window's open for him to go well, do he's something the team else manager right for the factory team right yeah. now and like he's just like ciao bella <laughs> <laughs> see ya <laughs> yeah, yeah i don't know i just uh ducati's got the money right yeah. so yeah their pretty, Italian brand makes sense. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's going to be like extremely interesting to see. And then if Marquez, apparently Marquez gone. I heard that. I saw see that. Ya. He's going to be with his brother. Yeah. Hey, dude, <sighs> scary. Grassini team? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Scary yeah, I mean, because I saw imagine. that lineup the other day and it had his picture wasn't in there. And then you, you see the interview with Marquez a few days, well, a week ago maybe, where he's like, I'm we're working it out. We're trying to figure it all out. But that was just a ploy. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it is unconceivable right now to think that Honda and Yamaha went from the top of MotoGP <laughs> and in like three seasons, they're like the worst teams, Yamaha especially. Yeah. It's Ducati, 
KTM Aprilia. Aprilia. And then it's the Japanese manufacturers, Suzuki. which freaking crazy. Not even here. Insane, Cra- dude. Crazy. And the top of the class is like six Ducatis in a row or five or whatever it is, you know, and like every the, week. Maybe the best rider of all time is going to leave factory Honda, which he was unbeatable on in unbeatable. 2019. Yeah. Was it 2019 yeah. the last time he won? Two, what? Yeah, it was three, was it seasons, three ago. seasons ago. Unbeatable. Yeah. You know, and you're going to give up. But I wonder, I was actually talking to um, Hammer, another Jeremy. Jeremy, yeah. Uh, about it today. We're, we're talking about like Marquez on the Honda. And it's like, he, he was basically saying like, why can't we just go back to the 2019 Honda start from there? And like, because that bike was a bike that you could win on. But I think it's a matter of that bike now is so shit so compared to date. a Ducati. That, and Mark's like the reason he's having the crashes is because he's like Quattararo could try and ride to the level that Mark is, but Quattararo is just going like, I'm, not gonna I'm out, myself. bro. And yeah. Mark's like, still on the sand yeah on a well i mean it, just it, can't it, do that it. that kind of thinking is it would be like okay you giving me give me my 96 honda yeah and let me line up and it's going to be as good as it ever was yeah hell no yeah Not, no, there's no chance yeah maybe that was the best two-stroke there ever was at that time yeah at that time or technically maybe ever. i would put that because it wasn't that long after two strokes kind of stopped right yeah that's true. but so I would put that bike against any aluminum framed Honda, but, um, that kind of thinking like, you know, we always have these memories, especially when you're winning of like, Oh man, that was so cool. Yeah. We could just go do that and keep that feeling forever and yeah. do that. Yeah. But the equipment, like you said, is so shit yeah. compared to the newest stuff. And maybe electronics had to do with that. Right. A little bit. I'd say so. Electronics. I mean, these riders sometimes, I mean, although the, the, the high side of Bagnaya a couple of weeks ago was pretty gnarly, but you don't really see that a lot. That was like the gnarliest two turns. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, that was dude, crazy. Just getting flashbacks yeah. right now of that. Yeah, I could not believe seeing Pecco just flying through the air. I mean, on the it, second that, turn I, after getting a whole shot. Yeah, and I think the electronics quit or something because when he nailed that thing, just went sideways and was gone. Do you remember uh, Casey Stoner on the uh, warm up lap? Oh, I can't remember what. Maybe it was in like Italy, Magello or something like that. And yeah, electronic just went rah, and just yeah. Pff, gone, Another just guy, Casey, dude. was amazing at just pushing it like Marcus. You yeah, know what I mean, yeah, yeah. And that's what I think. Like you're <laughs> seeing with Mark is like, dude, um, how he got on the podium on the weekend is just beyond incredible. Like what a man. Like yeah, honestly, yeah, yeah. especially when the other Hondas like. Just not even a thing. It's not even in the same no. race, hardly. It's like they've given him a samurai sword, and it's just on this perfect edge. And if they're like, you can cut anything if Don't you move hit it with this cut. edge. Yeah. yeah. But if you get off that thing, yeah. you're done. Yeah, yeah. It's It's been really crazy to watch. I I don't know all the ins and outs, but I'm a fan of MotoGP. Yeah. And K, uh, KTM's Rise Up has been really neat to watch. Um, Ducati's been, you know, I know when they first came in with, you know, Casey and um, the other dude, Caparasi, was yep, the other yep, rider. Yep. Um, you know, they were giving that team some advantages because that was more like a production bike instead of a works bike. So they'd give them a little bit extra power yeah, back then. Remember yep, the rules? Yeah. Yep. And I don't know if all the rules are still even or they're still riding like a maybe not a full works bike. So they get some of these advantages. But I mean, you work within the rules you're given, right? I mean, yeah. Ducati's done a great job at that. So, um, you know, I, as a fan, I'm a little, I think it's a little weird with all the aerodynamic things they got yeah, and then so, the, they got the suspension that sucks down yeah. out of the corners. <laughs> yeah. You're like, what? It's a trip. They're I, riding I, spaceships, bro. Right. They are totally. And I think it takes some of the riding out of it. Yeah. Let the rider be the rider, yeah. you know, and electronics did a lot of that. So, yeah. but I mean, they're also using, you know, probably formula ones, you know, well, I think KTM's using form the F1 wind tunnel. Right. Okay. So they're using some Formula One technology. Yeah. And there's I think a lot they of literally put it in their tunnel, like, oh. which is fucking gnarly. Yeah. Yeah. About. Like I mean, KTM in three years, like Pedro Acosta. See ya. That's like, you know what <laughs> Yeah, I mean? exactly. It's over. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I think, yeah. I mean, it's got to be a tough space in your head if you're Mark Marquez, right? Because yeah. you're just getting whooped now. And that's, he still has that fight in him and he's like, shit, what am I doing? Yeah. So we'll see if he, if he in fact leaves Honda and does that Ducati deal, then we're going to see. I mean, his brother's riding great on that bike. Yeah. All right. So we'll see.
We are excited to announce the launch of our new membership site, gypsytales.com, packed with exclusive content and perks that you won't find anywhere else. This is your chance to become a part of the Gypsy Gang. And as a special bonus, if you sign up to an annual membership, you'll be entered into the draw to win our custom-built TC125. Gypsy Gang.